Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Lotai, bringing you guys a brand new video, and I'm back with Sword of Asumi. Now this video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal because I am sick. I, I know it's hard to believe that with my voice and me being so cheerful and high-pitched and yelly and stuff, but um, I'm actually sick. The only reason it doesn't seem like it is because I'm fighting really, 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 really hard right now. Not the like, cough of like cough and sneeze and stuff of death. Well, to death so I, it's, I don't know okay i'm fighting basically i just want to go ahead and get these videos up for you guys all right so if you guys remember from last episode and if you don't i recommend you go watch it because you know the, this game is very story based it's a visual novel which means i do voice acting i might not do it because i'm sick today but i do voice acting in the other ones go check them out all right so let's jump right back in where we were if you guys remember we were shopping but we went shopping instead of going to the luncheon like we were supposed to. And yeah, we broke the rules. And uh, our, let's just get right back into it. Kaori just said, wow, this place is enormous. Look at all this neat stuff. That was where we ended it last episode. Let's go on. Yeesh, pretty expensive though. I think this was supposed to be for the richer students. You may be right. Oh god, yep, I'm doing the voice acting. If I can, If this is the voice I used, I think it's the voice. It makes sense. Many of the students here are from wealthy families. I mean, it's a samurai school. Samurais most of the time are wealthy, so I mean, even if you're being trained to be. Okay. Oh, hold on. I need to get a, I need to get some stationery, and I see the perfect set over there. Wait for me here, okay? Don't move. Oh, okay. Everywhere assuming looks, girls move in pairs of trios, trying on hats and gloves, showing each other. Hairpins or ivory combos, and Asumi stands alone. For a brief moment, something like loneliness takes hold of her. What? Why, why are we lonely? We're an assassin. There's no, thing, no reason at all to be lonely. Then she shakes it off. This is silly. She's here to complete a mission, not befriend a bunch of uh, Twittering girls. Exactly. Keep your priorities together, right? D don't let our mind beat us. I know it can be a little overwhelming at first. Saying, oh Jesus, what are you doing here? Huh? Hmm? Oh, uh, the girl before her stands tall and confident, smiling kindly. Sometimes the crowds can get, it can get the first years, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. Did I say I was overwhelmed? I'm tough enough to handle it. Um, th I think this one is what I would go with. I'm tough enough to handle it, but did I say I was over overwhelmed? Just sounds like you were like, <laughs> I don't know. Actually, let's go with the question. Let's go with the, did I say I was overwhelmed? I'm not overwhelmed. I, I don't appreciate your assumption. And I don't appreciate your assumption. Feisty one, aren't you? Yes. I will, I will slice your head off. I mean, what? Nothing, I didn't say anything. You know, you seem like a kind of girl who could really go places. Uh, I what? <laughs> Well, I'm part of a presidential squad, and I'm always looking for capable, uh, capable people to join. You think I'm capable to, capable to join? I'm feisty. It's so much fun. We plan events and decide certain matters regarding the school, kind of like your, like our own government. Ooh, I'll have the power. You seem like you might be perfect for it. Uh, really? I didn't. How can you tell? Yeah, how? Well. These other girls are nice, but they're a bit too concerned with clothes and shoes and- Oh, okay, we're not concerned. And whatnot. And we seem like we're not concerned at all because we really aren't. We really don't care anything about anything that's around us. You seem like you have a good a good head on your shoulders. I think you fit right in. You'll think about it, won't you? Uh, me and a student government? I suppose I could. Uh... I guess I could keep it in mind. The presidential squad probably has a lot of knowledge of these going ons at campus. Could they know who Raven is? Ooh, a good thing. Fantastic. Fantastic. I know you'd be interested. We're having a party tonight. You should definitely stop by. Oh, hi. Do either of you know who? <laughs> no way I can find a tea set. A cute tea set. I'm working on my girl voices. It's not happening at all. I know. I'm working on it. It's, it's, it's wait like a good two, three weeks. It'll, it'll, I'll have one. I can show you. I can show you. Come with me. It was nice meeting you, Asumi. I look forward to seeing you soon, I hope. And Asumi's keeping my voice because, you know, I'm, I'm Asumi anyways. This is, no. I never told Sin my name. Did she really remember it from the early meeting? Damn. Wow, did I just see you with Sin? 
<sighs> yes. So? It's just that she's a pretty big deal at the academy. I didn't think she'd talk to a first year. What did you talk about? Uh, she wants me to join. I'll just be bluntly honest with her. She told me about the presidential squad. I guess she thinks I'd be a good fit. Really? That's a big deal, Asumi. Are you going to do it? I, I'm not sure yet. I told her I'd think about it. Well, whatever you choose, I'm glad for you. Did you find your stationery? But the, but there's no way I could afford it. I guess I'll have to save up. Anywhere. Are you ready to go? I think I'm all shafted out. Agreed. Let's get out of here. We didn't even do anything. We just looked around. Window shopping. Woo! When Asumi reaches her dorm room, a flyer is taped to the door. Like, are they, it's, it's taped out already or they were taping it? I'm guessing it was already there. What's this? Presidential squad party. Yeah, they, they really want me to go. Come hang out and meet your peers. Music and refreshments provided. Mandatory attendance. But, but what? Mandatory? <laughs> and she said she might see me at this. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Assume he sighs and opens your closet. I suppose I should get ready for this party. I'm not a party person myself either. Hmm, what the wear? I'm, I'm just an introvert, you know. I want to stay alone in my room. Or do things with small groups of friends. I'm not sure. What would be right? Well, I guess this will have to do. Oh, 8 o'clock already? I'm late. I better get going. We blend in perfectly. To a dot. Upbeat music blared from a seat of the speakers. Most of the students have already arrived, milling about, talking, and laughing. And yet, I don't see any more I know. Uh, anyone I know. Hey, Sumi! Oh, hi, er. Jiro, remember? Right, Jiro, of course. This party's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, sure, it's. Sumi trails off as she, as she sees a boy staring at her. His, his brows are furrowed as if he's concentrating on something about her. She finds herself unable to complete a thought. It's what? Hmm? You were saying something about the party? Oh, I w was I? And how are you two? And how and how are you two enjoying the festivities? Oh, it's excellent. And you, Miss? Assume me. Well, I, I just got here. Then let me make sure you have good have a good time. I'm Kiji, the president of the upper class. Can I get you a drink? Me? Uh, sh sh sure. That would be great. Wow! Wow! A member of the presidential squad. Can you follow me, Asumi? <laughs> just just blow him off. Kiji smiles and leads Asumi away from Hiro, who detects, <laughs> who detectedly sulks off to find a new conversation partner. <laughs> Tell me, Asumi. What? Tell me, Asumi, do you like re uh, d rice wine? It says Asumi says it. I don't drink, it messes with my concentration. Okay. So, that was a little game glitch, I think. I admire, I admire, I, I, I didn't, I, I admire your dedication. Let's stick to the cider. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. Sorry, wrong voice. So you're a member of the presidential squad? I am. I assume you're a first year. That's right. Hmm, one moment. Sin, oh, come over here. Across the concourse, Sin looks up and smiles, but holds up a finger as if to say, wait one moment. She then motions for Kiji to join her. Ah, looks like I'm needed. I'll see you later, Asumi. It was a nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. Kiji jogs across the concourse to Sin, who leans in and speaks quietly to him, smiling all the while. Asumi can't make out what they're saying, but Sin seems happy about something. Suddenly, Asumi realizes she's standing alone, stand staring at the pair of them. Gah! I bet I look like a creep or something. Everyone is here, <laughs> here seeing me uh, make a fool of myself. Hey, wait. Everyone is here? Maybe that means no one is on guard at the, at the main office. I could break in and see if there's any uh, info on Raven. But if everyone is here, doesn't that mean Raven is here too? Could find out the answer by talking to people. Um, Stay at the party and mingle. Or sneak off and break into the main office. Um, I'm, I, I, I don't think we're going to be good at socializing. So I think we're going to go with our strengths and uh, go as an assassin and break in. This is silly. If I want info, I'll have to get it myself. I think this is more so what we're good at anyways. Like a shadow, Asumi slips into the room. Literally, I mean, we are an assassin. This is our right up our alley. Finally, a little espionage. She finally feels more in her element. Exactly. 
Well, this is the main office. If there's any, we're wearing a bright green shirt, though. <laughs> we're not exactly wearing the uh, the stealthiest wear. Well, this is the main office. If there's any intel on uh, on a Orochi, it'll be here. But where to look? She opens a few random drawers, financial records, student roster, the list of uh, clubs and activities. None of this looks particularly useful. Where could the juicy stuff be? Where's the info on, f on families, affiliations, past actions, stuff like that? Hmm. Suddenly a sound makes Asumi freeze in her tracks. What was that? Sounds like... Oh god. Oh no, footsteps. I can't be caught here and jeopardize the mission before it even starts. I need to think quick. Escape out the window. I've got to get out of here pronto. Throwing all her weight against the window, she pushes it up. Hm. There it is, it's open. Now to climb out. Using her cat-like climbing skills, she hoists herself out of the window and onto the lawn below. The light of flashlight illuminates the room just after she disappears off over the edge. Well, that was a complete waste of time. I better just go... I better just get back to my room for the night. Tomorrow is a new day. Alright, so we didn't get caught at least. Hopefully nobody like can tell who we were by that shadow. Okay, first actual day of classes. I can, I can do this. I can do this. Hmm, I should look at my student manual to see if there's any additional info. Oh, here we go. Here at, Acad at, 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 here at the Academy of the Samurai Arts, we value a fast-paced learning environment. New students are required to join one main class of the students of the student's choice every day. One subject per day. What is the main point of that? Well, what is the point of that? Let's just get a point. You will then get the opportunity to work out what subjects you are most interested in following. Willis, we can evaluate your, uh, you further to ensure you are definitely on the level we require for a student. Well, I suppose that explains it. I guess it's a sink or swim approach to new entrance in teaching. Well, let's see what my choices are for today. Day one, physical training or poetry? Oh, God. Those are kind of odd choices, but they're my only two options. Um, Again, I don't think we'll be great at poetry either. I'm going to go with what I think innately we're, we would be good at. Physical training. Physical training shouldn't be too tough. Uh, too tough. Too tough. Yep. I'm already physically... Uh, nope. Skipped it too fast. Sorry. I better put on my gym gear and get going. As Asumi arrives in the gym locker room, she sees students stretching and warming up. Some are talking, but off to the side, all alone. It's him again! Hikari looks focused, performing an intrinsic... 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 Balancing ex exercise by himself. Why does he always seem so mel so melancholy? Do I wonder if I am the one to talk? Do I smile? <laughs> Do I even smile? She got a point. She doesn't. Well, I guess it's my turn to change it to gym gear. Da da da. At least I made the right choice on underwear support, <laughs> despite not knowing what I would be doing. Hmm. This seems so embarrassing, but if this is what everybody's everyone is wearing. Okay, class, let's get started. Alright, we're going to end it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button and meet up with me on another one of my videos. And if you guys want to keep up with the 25 Days of Fright and my other uploads, click that notification bell so you'll be emailed and notified basically when I upload a video. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day and live, love, namaste.